Hi everyone, in this video, we'll be learning how to find the basis for the set of a span of a set of polynomials. So in our previous two videos, we have learned how to find the basis for the span of a set of column vectors and row vectors. And now let's do polynomials. So now let's say we are given a set of polynomials as this. This and this. So what does x0 mean? So x0 basically means 1. So there's no like x coordinate x values. So let's say now how to find the basis. We will think of these polynomials to be the same as row vectors. That means from here you have a1, b1 and all the way to 1 here. So your coefficients can be written as this just like row vectors, and the same for this and this. And then we perform the Gauss method, which is in this form. Again, we make it in this form. And third step, we reduce it to row echelon form. And we collect together all the rows with leading entries. And after that, we translate back the rows, those rows, into their corresponding polynomials. And after this, the basis will then be the collection of polynomials. So, let's get started with an example to show what I mean. Let me clear this up first. I'm almost done, so hold on first. So let's say we are given this span of a set of polynomials. First one is 1 plus x. Next one is 1 minus x squared. Next one is 3 plus 2x. minus x square where these are all part vector so now we have 3 so this is your x0 so it's 1x0 and this is also 1x0 This is 3x0. So now let's step 1 with think of this as row vectors. So therefore, 
step one can be done in this way. So, so again, so this is one, one. So we notice that it goes all the way to x square. So it's x zero, x one, x square. So it's zero. So it can be written as one plus x. And the second row vector is again one x zero. So one. 0, there is no coefficient for x, so it's 0. There is coefficient for x squared, which is minus 1. So it's minus 1. And for this, 3x, 0, so 3, 2x, 2. And the coefficient of x squared is minus 1. So now let's perform our Gaussian method now. Step 1 done. Step 2. Can write it as one, one, zero, one, zero, minus one, three, two, minus one. So step two done. So this is our row one. row 2 and row 3 and now let's reduce it to row echelon form first so from here you want to eliminate the in the first column you want to eliminate the one entry and the third entry here this and this so it's to eliminate this is minus one times of row one plus row two and to eliminate this entry here is minus 3 times of row 1 plus row 3 so now let's see how it is done so first row will not be affected second row so minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0 minus 1 plus 0 equals to minus 1 this one so it's minus 0 0 minus 1 equals to minus 1 and now for the third row minus 3 times 1 equals to minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 equals to 0 and for this it's minus 3 times my times 1 equals to minus 3 minus 3 my plus 2 equals to minus 1 for this We'll also go minus 3 times 0 equals to 0, 0 minus 1 equals to minus 1. And now, okay, this is our new first row. New second row. New third row. So now you want to eliminate the entry here below minus 1 in the second column. So we add minus 1 times of row 2. Add to row 3. And the system will be in echelon form. So let's see how it goes. So first row will not be affected. Second row will still be the same. 0, minus 1, minus 1. Now for the third row, so 0. And this one is minus times minus 1 equals to 1. 1 minus 1 equals to 0. And the same for this is minus times minus 1 equals to 1. 1 minus 1 equals to 0. So the system is in row echelon form. So step three is here done. So now step four. Let's identify this. Uh, identify the leading entries. So these are the leading entries one and minus one. So step four. What are the rows with leading entries? Identifying the rows. So the rows are one. 1, 0, and 0, minus 1, minus 1. And step 5, convert back to their polynomials. So, now 
this one can be written as 1 plus x this one can be written as this one there's no coefficient for x0 so it's 0 so it's, this one is minus 1 and minus 1 so it's minus x minus x square and now step 6 we can write the basis as a collection of these polynomials so therefore the basis can be written as one plus x and then minus x minus x square so this is our answer and we have already come to the end of this lesson if you have any questions feel free to drop me a comment and i will reply to your comment Thanks so much for watching and have a nice day.